Welcome back to our FortiGate how-to videos. In this tutorial, we will be configuring two WAN connections, a DHCP connection and a static uh, WAN connection. And then we'll talk a little bit about load balancing, SD-WAN, and redundancy. All right, welcome to our lab at FortiGate. Um, we're gonna begin by navigating to network on the left side. Here, we're gonna click on interfaces and we're going to be working with physical interfaces. Click there. Um, let's begin by doing the DHCP WAN connection. So for this one, um, we're going to let's select this um, internal seven, double click on it. Now, this is where you would give it an alias so you could easily um, recognize what this port or what this interface is connected to. Let's go ahead and name it. Um, let's do Comcast. Okay. Um, and this will be a WAN interface. Um, we're going to click on DHCP. And then we are going to select our administrative access. I'm just going to do um, HTTPS and ping for this example. Um, and then I'm going to click OK. With DHCP WAN connections, um, the, there's no static route that you need to create. The firewall will automatically find the gateway um, when it connects to the WAN, the Comcast WAN. Um, now let's create a static uh, WAN connection. So for this example, we're gonna, I'm just gonna use WAN2 here, this port 2. Um, let's give it a WAN roll and then we're gonna switch over to manual addressing and you're going to type in what your ISP um, provider, what your internet provider gave to you. So let me type this in. Um, and I was given this address. Slash the sub mask. Disregard this yellow warning here. Remember, this is my lap box and I've been reusing this um, firewall to make videos. So I've already entered this IP in the past. Uh, same as my other uh, interface, I'm only gonna use HTTPS and ping for this one. Here you would um, use your BDOM settings if you've created BDOMs. I'm gonna click OK. And here's your new WAN connection. Um, like I said, for static WAN connections, you do have to create a static route for the gateway. So on the left side, you will see um, interfaces, DNS, IWAM, for senders. Click on static routes. Here we're going to click on create new. Destination, you're going to leave the zeros. The gateway, you will enter the gateway that your ISP has given you. Next is interface. Here you're going to select the interface you are using for this WAN connection. We are using WAN 2. Click OK. And finally, your third step here is to configure a policy for traffic to go out that interface. So on the right side, you're going to click policy and objects, firewall policy. Now for my example on this video, it's going to get a little tricky because I do already have a WAN connection going out, multiple WAN connections. Um, so just try to follow along um, as best as you can and I will let you know the adjustments or the difference um, if you only have one WAN connection. Click create new. And we're going to name this one LAN to WAN um, and we're just going to do web access for this one. Incoming interface, so this is going outbound, so we're going to select our internal, let's do internal 2. Outgoing interface, this is where you would select that WAN 2 port. Um, however, because I have uh, multiple WAN connections and I've already linked them for SD-WAN, mine would be under this one here. 
which is my SD WAN sewn. That includes WAN 1, 2, and that third one I just created. Next is the source. Here I'm going to select an object I have previously created for my um, internal to subnet. Destination is going to be all. Schedule always. Service, we are going to select just web access, which I have a group that I have already configured for that. So I'm going to select that one. The next step would be to select your security for this profile. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Alrighty, so now we've got one, two, three WAN connections configured on this firewall. Um, the next thing that comes into play here when you have more than one WAN connection is um, to configure load balancing or failover, um, you might want to, you know, learn a little bit about SD-WAN, uh, which would, in essence, translate to better performance, lower latency, um, just a better performing connectivity to the WAN. Um, so to learn a little bit about that, I'm going to point you to our SD-WAN uh, video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, make sure to check us out at firewalls.com.